function, design. These two elements are of equal importance when choosing the right furniture for our homes. We're here in Cebu and we've come across Murillo Furniture, a homegrown company best known for delivering both qualities. A company of people whose gift and talent in furniture making goes back a long way. Let's see what they have in store for us. Hi, Alan. Hello, Angel. Hi, hi. Thank you for having us here. We'd like to know the history of Murillo, so please tell us the story behind it. I had a long early exposure to the production of furniture. I was exposed to it at a very early age um, through my dad, Asher. He used to work in the um, one of the oldest and biggest factory then. We're very passionate with what we do. I want to make sure that people <laughs> We like what we do and then... Um, we we'll yeah. fall in love with it. Yes, in a way. Your brother Chris is also part of the business. He also has his own studio here yes. in the same area. You yes. have your showroom, which we will see a little bit later. On this floor, his studio is right here yes. and your uh, factory is ground down floor. the ground floor. Yes. Our background is basically uh, custom making, so people will come over and ask us to do things based on their needs. It's very um, practical for us to have the setup in one place. I live, you know, a few meters from here. You mentioned you uh, take a walk five minutes to your yes. home. Maybe it will take us, what, uh, maybe 10 seconds to get to the showroom, yes. which we will yes. be showing all of them. Yes. So let's check out your showroom. Okay, let's go. To showcase the company's growing number of unique furniture pieces, Murillo opened its very first showroom in Cebu. This 600 square meter showroom holds different collections put in display for everyone to see. This is a 600 met, uh, meter showroom. Mm -hmm. We have living room pieces, we can do bedroom, um, we can see artworks as well, and then decors, and then right beside you is um, sculpture. The artworks that we do is being uh, done by my brother Christopher. When we say artworks, um, it is only one piece, but he does um, the so-called pieces that they can uh, that we can reproduce as well I cover the design side okay so my brother is more on the artistic side mm -hmm. but overall um, it retains that look and that what makes us different from other brands what is this certain look that when people see it they'll say that's a Morelio we try to combine indigenous material that are locally sourced you know in, in the Philippines but this uh, design inspiration that I have are pretty local as well but I try to make them look parang sophisticated in a way so that pretty much you can put them anywhere uh, anywhere in the world and then it's still acceptable. And speaking of design, speaking of material, you have several special pieces that you yes. would like to show our viewers. One okay. of which is this sofa over yes. here. This design actually is called um, Corona. The uh, design inspiration came from hair clip. It may look like metal, Yes. but this one is actually natural rattan. So Alan, please tell us about this piece of furniture. Um, this is a, the design I call as infinity. Mm -hmm. um, the inspiration behind it was the infinity symbol. I made this for the 2008 show. We now uh, go on to the puso. The in inspiration behind this is the uh, hanging rice. Uh, locally we call them puso. And so the names of your designs are, are used in, in everyday living? Yes, yes. Very ordinary. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. I try to get my inspiration mainly from the things. Uh, that I have seen and the local experiences as well. Now we'll go to another of your design inspiration. The shape of this chair was inspired by the old peacock chairs in the 1960s and 70s. I like um, taking inspiration from the past and carry them over to the present and the future. There's an interesting story that goes behind this piece of furniture. Tell us about it, Alan. Yes, it's named um, Lava, but the design inspiration is the gong. Nowadays, people don't sit really properly, <laughs> so they lazy around. Yes. So you can put your head that side mm -hmm. and rest your legs on this yes. side. So they want to use their phones or play their games using their gadgets. And this one suits that purpose. Yes. I'll try that later. <laughs> okay, let's go to this one. Um, this one, on the other hand, uh, it's named Nebula. The design inspiration behind it um, is basically bubbles when you do your washing. Way back then, when I was 
still a lot younger. I do my own washing. That's the inspiration behind this piece. Now it's time to sit down and yes. enjoy your comfortable furniture. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm seated on the Mercury chair. Steffi Graf is sitting on the chair. The design inspiration came from tennis ball. When um, Andre Agassi and Steffi Graf um, retired from their um, professional tennis, they came up with a um, um, gallery. Mm -hmm. So they selected Mercury as part of their collection. This chair you're sitting on is called the... Uh, Regalia. It came from the shape of a uh, summer hat. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. yes. Aside from the unique transitional and contemporary pieces they produce, Murillo also houses some of the best local craftsmen, carpenters and weavers in Cebu. With their innate skill in the art of making furniture, pieces are elegant, supremely crafted, and fashioned with exacting aesthetic details. These are not done by machines, they are done by hands. It gives your my product a soul. My design tells about our tradition, our local culture, and it tells about the people behind them as well. So I can decorate spaces, that's one of the services that we do. I can visit sites, so not just residential, we do um, was these resorts as well. Yes. We talk about Murillo being based here in Cebu. Yes. What about for those who live in uh, Manila? We have a display in a um, metro department store in Alabang. They can have a you know, first-hand experience. They can you know, sit on it. Yeah, they can test, test it. it. Thank you very much, Alan, for welcoming uh, Philippine Realty TV into your showroom. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Anytime. Thank you. With the company's respect of the craft, bonded with an open mind for new and creative ways of material application and production, this second-generation furniture maker continues to push the boundaries of innovative ways of interpreting tradition.